Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel! Welcome back! Welcome back! <laughs> Did y'all miss me? I missed you guys! I'm so sorry I haven't filmed! And my husband's watching me so I feel super awkward. Um, no. No. I'm good. Uh, so yeah, today what we are doing... Uh, sorry, I feel like I owe y'all an explanation. Just real short one. Um, I just didn't want to feel because I wasn't in the like greatest, greatest mood with everything that's going on. And I didn't want to like fake be happy, you know. So um, I feel a lot better now. So now I'm ready to start filming again. I want to film like at least once a week, if not twice. I don't, I'm not going to film uh, three times a week anymore because it's been a lot. So I'm going to start trying to build up. Maybe I will at some point build up to that. But right now we are sticking to one, maybe two a week. Anywho, today we are, wa we are watching. We are doing uh, my makeup collection. I don't know that I'm going to show you everything. It depends how long the video is. And then we'll go from there. At the end, I'll let you know what I did or whatever. Um, anywho, this is a little weird. I feel a little off, a little... Uh, by the way, I did this look. I've been going live, so I haven't been going... I haven't been on YouTube, but I have gone live on Instagram and Facebook. Um, on Instagram, so follow me on Instagram if you don't already so you can go catch my lives. lives. I actually filmed this look on my Facebook. And um, yeah, I've been doing that. I haven't done it like the past three, four days. I haven't posted anything because I've been in a funk. But anywho, yeah, that's what I've been doing. That's what I've been doing. What have you been doing? Let me know down below and subscribe if you like me. Subscribe if you like me and hit thumbs up if you like this video. Of course, wait till the end so you can know if you really liked it or not. Anywho, let's get into it. We are going to start with our primers. So this is my first drawer. We're gonna start with primers. So primers, I don't have as many as I have other things. So we have this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which is one of my favorite primers. We have this, it's in my project pan. It's a no problem. Priming water, oil by Touch and Sew. I don't really like this. Um, but I will finish it. I, it's in my project pan, so it's almost done. And I don't recommend that one. This uh, Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer by First Aid Beauty. There it is. And this one smells super good, um, but it doesn't fill my pores, and that's what I like. I will continue to use it. It is in my project pan, but I don't think I will repurchase this one. I actually want to try First Aid Beauty like other products like skincare, but the primer, it smells really good, like super clean and stuff, but yeah. Okay, so um, this is cruelty free. I haven't used it, so I can't really tell you what I think of it, um, but I will tell you once I know. Once I finish, I probably, once I finish this one right here, this will be going in my project pan as well. So that's my primer. This long wear primer by Unicorn Glow is another one so this one and this one i got in subscriptions i actually got all of these four in subscription boxes so this one i haven't really tried either so i can't really tell you about it but i will let you know once i try it i put this in my primers um but it can be used as a serum but i will be using it as a primer the farsali this is a super overpriced primer and i've only used it twice it's awesome that we received it in a subscription box but I will tell you that I don't know that it's worth the hype. Let's just leave it at that. Not as a primer. Um, maybe as a serum. I don't think it's worth the hype. I don't think it's worth what all the money that they say. So, yeah, that's what I think of that. Um, then we have this Revlon Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing. This is a pretty new product. I've only used it once in a first impressions. Um, it's okay. Uh, it, the good thing is that it's like drugstore, so I will keep trying it and I will let you guys know what I think of it. And then we have this Makeup Forever Step 1 
smoothing primer i haven't used this one at all so i can't tell you either um but as soon as i do i will let you know I, the reason why i haven't used many of these is because i received them in subscription boxes so obviously like it, they build up you know what i mean um next is this tarte base tape hydrating primer and i received this in a subscription box recently so i have not used it um it does not say anything about it being pore filling so it's probably not gonna be my favorite i do like pore filling primers and then lastly we have this Illamasqua Hydra Bell. Uh, this is supposed to be a primer as well. Maybe I should put it in. So I haven't used this either. I have opened it, but I haven't actually opened this package right here. So this is supposed to be a primer and I haven't used it. I like the little jar it comes in. It's kind of cool. Um, but I will let you know as soon as I use it and I also receive it in a subscription box. Um, that is it for face primers. So let me jump into um, eye primer. Sorry, my setup for my vanity is not the greatest. So I'm sorry about that. It so the eye primers that I do have are this e.l.f. primer, drugstore primer. Um, I have used it one time and I think it does its job. And it's very inexpensive. It's in the shade Sheer. It's very inexpensive. I've only used it once. But I will let you know if my mind changes. But I do think that for the price it's good. This uh, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I There's like a lot of people that do like this. But it is not my cup of tea. It actually came with um, something that I ordered so it wasn't like something that I ordered personally, you know what I mean? But I don't really like it much. Let me see if I can get this to focus. There we go. Yeah, it's not my favorite primer. Um, and it's pricey, so you know what I mean? This Anastasia Eye Primer, I received this along with the uh, that collection right there. So it was a nice bonus. I mean, not bonus because it was pretty pricey, but I do like it. It is drying very dry it dries up very quickly but i do use this on most of my videos um so i do like it i just don't see myself repurchasing it because i do i do not mind using concealers i feel like those are perfect for priming um and then i jumped on the p louise base primer <laughs> uh train i jumped on that so i have it i like it i honestly again concealer works perfect i don't think that you need an actual primer so if you do want a primer i would say start out with a drugstore primer because it's more inexpensive and then like jump up to a more expensive primer that's what you want to do and then let's jump now that we've done primers let's jump to foundations so foundations we are on in here now i actually changed like reorganized so i'm probably gonna be like all over the place because i don't remember where everything is but we have these two right here these are the tinted moisturizers i got them in two different shades um i haven't used either of these so uh i do know that i like it for a more natural day not for an everyday thing though just for a more natural day um so we have three of those as you can tell i really love them when i first got it i don't know that i should have gotten three of them though um, but I did get them because it was on sale. So I have three of those foundations. I don't have many foundations. Like I've seen people's, um, what is it called? Their uh, thingamabobs, their collections, and they have a shit ton of foundations. So I don't have as much as many others. Okay, the next one is this Becca foundation. It's the Ultimate Coverage Foundation. And I received this in a boxy charm it's honestly not my favorite this is like 40 bucks i don't think that it's worth 40 bucks i don't think i would pay 40 bucks for this foundation at least um i think there's a lot of better drugstore foundations so yeah that's what i think of that one i will use it up so don't get me wrong i will use it next is this revlon age define foundation i do like this foundation i think it's worth the price i've had it for some time 
Okay, so there it is. I think it works fine. Um, and then I think this is my favorite foundation right now. It's so wet and wild. Dewy Luminex. Luminox. My favorite thing is that it's super inexpensive and it works good. Like you don't need anything other than this. They do have a matte formula as well. Can you focus? Okay, there it is. So they have a matte one as well. So if you're more on the oily side, I recommend you get the matte one. It does have a very strong scent. So think about that before purchasing it. But yeah, I do like this one. It's my favorite one right now. And then we have these little ones that I received in subscription boxes. We have the Found Sealer by Tarte. I've never used it. Once I use it, I will let you know what I think of it. There it is. Then we have the CC Cream by It Cosmetics. Once I used it like once, but I can't give you an honest opinion from that. So as soon as I use it, I will let you know. These are from subscription boxes. And then the last foundation that I have is this Ultra HD by Makeup Forever. And I think I've used it once, but it's been a long time. So I also received it in a subscription. I will let you know once I can give you more information because I don't know what I think of it. And actually, the last foundation that I do have is up here because it's in my project pan. It says Milani Conceal and Perfect. And I've had this for a very long time. That's why it's in my project pan. I do like it. Um, it is pretty uh, pretty full coverage. I mean, you can build it up to full coverage. It's like medium coverage. So, yeah, I do like this one. Um, it's very old. So, either I'm going to finish it or I'm going to throw it out because it's honestly like at least <laughs> a year and a half old. I probably need to throw it away soon. But I really, I don't like throwing away stuff. I want to use it up. So, we will see so those are my foundations and then let's jump into concealers it's, what is this oh so this is a skin enhancer um so it can be used as a alone or as a makeup base so i would say this is like a primer right here um it looks like i've used it one time it came in a subscription box i will let you know more what i think of it I'll probably try it on a non-makeup day and see what I think of it. So I'll put this here. I'll actually put it up here with my other primers. <sighs> Sorry, this video is all over the place. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Okay, so let's move on to concealers. Oh, I guess I could bring this in. I got this in a subscription box. It's like a color corrector, but I don't really know how to use color correctors, so it's kind of just been there. I've used it like twice, and I looked like a freaking maniac because I had no idea what I was doing. So um, I'm going to look at more videos and see if I can figure out how to use this correctly. Okay, so concealers. We have quite a few concealers. Um... So my oldest concealer has to be this Maybelline Fit Me. Um, as you can tell, we're almost out of it. So this is in my project pan. Uh, this is more like of a natural concealer. So if you're interested more in a natural finish, then I do recommend this one. This was my favorite concealer like of all time. And then let's jump into this one. This is Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage by It Cosmetics. This is like super full coverage. Um, it's not my favorite though, but so there it is. Not my favorite, but I will finish it up. And then we have these uh, ColourPop no filter concealers. There's some people that love them and some people that really don't like them. And I am like in the really no like them, really no like them. Um, but they're in the shade Fair, Fair 00 and Fair 02. The reason I got them so light, obviously I am not this light, but I got them so light just for uh, priming eye purposes. It's not for like actually like under the eyes or anything like that, uh, but I don't really like them. I feel like they're super drying for me personally, so I will just use them for priming eye purposes. Um, for that reason, I do recommend them because concealer can be used to prime your lids. 
Next is Milani Retouch Erase Light Lifting Concealer. This is kind of like a whatever kind of concealer. It's not my favorite and it's not the worst. But if you're looking for a drugstore one, then you may want to check this one out right here. Next is this Candid Revlon uh, Antioxidant Concealer in Light Medium Pale. Not my favorite either, but it is not as expensive as other concealers, so it's nice. Then we have this Pretty Vulgar Concealer that I got in a BoxyCharm. It's pretty light coverage, and I do like that about it, but um, I wouldn't pay the price that it's listed for. I think I'll just finish this one up and then keep trying other concealers. Okay, there it is. Then we have we have three pretty fresh color pop concealers. They're right here. This one has not been opened. This is in the light 50W. And then we have this one right here. Medium. These are the creamy concealers. I love that they are so creamy and uh, they are not drying at all. But I like to actually mix these with a more drying concealer. I know that's weird. It's like, girl, do you like to dry one or do you not? I like, I'm like in the middle. I need one that's like right, just perfect. So these are the ones, the two shades that I have. As you can tell, I have two different shades because I had no idea what color I was. Well, I have three different shades. So I actually find that this one works better for me. Um, but I mix it with a different concealer that's more drying. So those are the two ColourPop uh, concealers. Then we jump into this e.l.f. Camel Concealer. And this is not the hydrating version. I do like it, but I only tried it once, so I can't tell you if I love it. And then we have this CoverGirl True Blend Undercover. I actually got this uh, because I, there was a YouTuber that recommended it. Um, but it's super drying and it's in my project pen and that's the only reason that I still have it because I want to again I want I like to finish up my products I don't like to throw away things so that's why it's there so what I've been actually doing just like the last two times I applied makeup is I like to mix this one right here with my ColourPop um, hydrating one okay and that is it for concealers okay let's move on to powders i don't have many powders i'm like i don't have many and then people are like bitch shut up just kidding um okay so this one right here is the becca hydramus powder uh it's not my favorite but i have been using it because it's in my project pan and then we have this little baby um it's ciate london i got this in a subscription box i've never used it yet i haven't used it yet uh i have a feeling this will go in a project pan though just because it's so tiny and it's like girl just finish it you know and then we have this laura mercier mercy more more just kidding mercier translucent powder it's nice um i don't have much to say about that i do prefer out of like those i prefer actually the fit me conceal fit me uh finishing powders i don't know i like i'm pretty basic i don't like to spend a lot of money on powders or many things so i feel like these are just perfect i have two of these i have the 15 light i like to use this like under my eyes and then this light medium i'll use it if i'm using like if i'm doing it for all over my face if i am powdering my entire face i use this darker one right here and then we have this banana powder. I used to love this powder. Um, I used to love it. But now I don't really like it because it leaves like a, obviously like a yellow tint behind. And I haven't really been loving that. But I like that it doesn't really like, it helps with my creasing. But that's one thing that I don't like. I will definitely use, use it up. What I think I'm going to do is just like mix it with my other translucent powders. Like every time I use them and see if that helps with the banana shade and then this wet and wild photo focus translucent powder i've only used it once in a first impressions i'll put that video down below so you can check it out i did like it and it's super inexpensive so i will keep using it and let you know what i think but obviously i love it because it's like five bucks so and it's huge like this shit will last you forever so 
those are all my powders. Um, now that, I mean, we're here already, so let's jump into some bronzers. So this is a bronzer that I got recently, Physicians Formula. Everybody raved about it, and I was like, I need to check it out, and I love it. Have no regrets. It is about, like, $15.00 but this thing will last you forever so i do do recommend this it smells like coconut it smells lovely okay so this is the butter bronzer oh, lovely oh, it smells beautiful so that's one of the bronzers that i have this is in the shade la and i absolutely love this as well I Fortunately, unfortunately, these are not available. Um, I'm sorry. And then this is in the shade 310. Love, love, love. They're like warmer brown, so warm tone. Like if I'm, I have no idea what I'm talking about, but. Okay, so those are the three bronzers that I have. And then I have the rest of them are like palettes. So then we have this one right here. It's a Trustique bronzer and it's a stick bronzer this is actually my project pan i do enjoy it um i don't have much left but i really need to can use it more because i haven't been using it so if you like cream contouring this is a it's a nice one okay and then we have palettes we have this one this is actually a blush palette. Disregard. Then I jump into more like palettes. Um, face palettes. This has a bronzer so that's why it's in here. So this is by It Cosmetics. And does it have a name? It doesn't. I received this I believe in an Ipsy. And I've used it like 10 times at most. I really need to use this more. I do like them all. Um... Those are the shades right there. Uh, I probably wouldn't pay full price for that. I really do like this one right here. It's the TARDIS uh, Pro Glow Face Palette. I got this in a boxy charm. I really, really do like it. And I probably would pay full price for this one. So those are the shades right there. They're absolutely lovely. It has two highlights, two blushes, and two bronzers. Then we jump into um, this face palette right here. This is like a cream like contouring palette by anastasia contour cream kit is what it's called and i've used it like twice so i really need to use that again but i do want to finish like the stuff that's in my project pan and then probably jump into this so that's that then we have this right here uh <laughs> it's the park avenue princess tart palette i honestly like I probably would repurchase this if I wasn't like reviewing a lot of other things. It is bomb. I love, love all the shades in here. Just don't look at the individual shades, like the way that they're ordered because I dropped this and I put them back in and I didn't even know how to put them back in. So they're all messed up. But these are the shades and uh, the palette, the actual palette smells, <sighs> smells lovely. It smells like most of the Tarte products. And I really, really like this one. And I could see myself repurchasing this if I finished all of them. And then we have this blush right here. This is in my project pan. It's by The Balm. I do like it. Um, it is super pigmented, so you don't need a lot to make it work. But it's in my project pan just because it's it's little. And I feel like I, if I don't put it in my project pan, it's just going to go missing. And then we have this Hourglass blush. I haven't used it only once, but I did like it the one time I used it. And I did receive this in a boxy charm. It's super, super pretty. And I can't wait to use it some more. And it's Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Diffused Heat. So that's the blush. And then we jump into this little blush palette by Olimar Cosmetics. These blushes are pigmented the house but i have barely used them as you can tell everything's in order so i will continue i do like them all though um so i will use them and follow up with any like if i think like they suck i'll let you guys know so i received that in a boxy charm as well and then we have this wet and wild blush 
and I it's it's a good price and you can build this up but I don't recommend it because it takes a lot to build up but if you're on a budget and you just need a blush that is very inexpensive then get this one you just know that it takes a long time to build up it's in the shade pearlescent pink and then we jump into this right here by sugar I got this in a subscription box it's called contour the force mini blush so it's just a blush And it looks like this and I haven't sorry I haven't used it once so once I use it I will let you guys know I'm sorry I just had so many subscriptions at some point that I have that's what the reason why I have so many things um, it wasn't like pure like I would purchase every item individually you know what I mean but at some point I will use all these things and if I feel like I'm not then I will declutter and that will be a different video so this happy hibiscus what happy hibiscus natural blush palette this one right here um i have not opened it's a blush palette apparently from what it says but i um so i don't want to open this because there may be a chance that i don't use it because i have so many things and i may just put it in a future giveaway so i don't want to open it can you tell that it's like sealed right here so i'm sorry i'm not going to show you this one but it is a blush palette and then we have this go go tint by benefit i have not used this once i'm kind of scared of these tints like i don't know why i don't use them i'm gonna use it i feel like i should use it on one of my lives that i've been doing let me know if you guys want me to go live on youtube to chat with me um i would love to do that i mean it doesn't even have to be makeup you know let's just have conversations and talk about what's going on in the world um but this is what it looks like it's a cute little jar let me open it for you guys. It literally looks like a nail polish. Look. I'm gonna put it on my hand. Oh, it's not that bad actually. Well, I feel like right there kind of stained, so I think you need to move quickly. I feel like most of it just came off. Hmm, I don't know. I will use it. I'll use it in one of my lives on Instagram or something. Then we'll jump into this right here. This is a Wet n Wild Blush Highlighter Duel. It's called Flash Me. It's very inexpensive. Um, I really do enjoy the blush right here it looks like more like a blush topper and it's so freaking beautiful it's so pretty and so inexpensive this highlighter is super glittery so if you don't like glitter then i don't recommend it but if you do like glitter in your highlighter then i do recommend it it's so lovely 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 look at that isn't that pretty it is so pretty and it's inexpensive guys that's what i love 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 okay so that's that then we jump into okay i think i set up my camera a little bit better so the next thing is this madison miller what is this oh this is a... i hope this isn't backwards is it backwards okay so this is it right here um i haven't used it once but it looks super pretty. Let's see if we can. Well, yeah, that looks super pretty. And I got this in a, a subscription box. So as soon as I use it more, I will let you guys know what I think of it. Ooh, those highlights. Do you see that? I mean, it's Ofra. Come on. It has to be a good highlight. Those highlights look super, super pretty. Okay, so that's that. Then we have this right here, this Gigi Gorgeous. And it's a blush. Um, I've never used this before. It looks pretty. I will let you guys know what I think once I use it. I don't want to tell you I love it when I clearly have not used it. 
So this is just purely my collection. And I will talk about things that I have actually used. And then we have this. It's by Pacifica. And... It looks like... This one looks kind of like a highlighter. I'm like... What? Oh yeah, that is... It's like a blush topper. It looks so pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. I can't wait to use that. And then the, that one's just a bronzer right there. I've never used it, so again, I can't tell you what I think of it, but I will let you guys know. Um, if I love it, I will definitely let you guys know in like a favorites video or something. So that's that. And the last one in this drawer is this Blush and Glow Palette by... What? Blush... Blush and Glow Palette by Natasha Denona and I actually got this in a BoxyCharm and I do really like all of the shades even this dark shade um I'm not the lightest person so it actually does go with me it is a uh, very very uh pigmented do you see that girl so you do not need a lot but I really like these highlighters too do you oh, so pretty it's like the nicest coral shade and I got this in a boxy charm so I'm so excited like I'm so happy that that happened because I probably wouldn't pay the full price of this and let me show you this one okay I should have I'm gonna go get like a makeup remover I don't use makeup remover wipes anymore so I'm gonna go grab like a little towel mm, that one doesn't really show up I guess like a blush topper maybe so yeah, I actually really, really, really love this one and I need to not have it all the way back there and maybe like move it up. But yeah, that's my blushes. And I'm going to be right back, okay? And on the next the next drawer, I actually have like skincare stuff. So I'm not going to show you that. And the last one is like more like random stuff. Um, future videos that I want to make like... For example, using this right here, it's like to contour. And then using this little device right here. And what else is this? Like that. And using um, this right here, it's like a little stamp for eyeliner. Uh, but yeah, that's like a no polish and random drawer. So let's move on to the other side. And you know what? I am going to cut it there and we will finish the rest of my collection on a different video just because I feel like this is a super long video and if I keep going it's gonna be like super super long so I still need to show you my mascaras my lippies my eyeshadows um so yeah stay tuned stay tuned if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like me subscribe subscribe if you like me subscribe if you like me subscribe if you like me and i will see you guys in my next one and i'm sorry that i was gone for so long um i feel bad uh you pr guys probably don't care but i felt bad i don't know why anywho um i'm back and i will try to film one video a week or two videos a week so yeah thank you for being here i'll see you guys in my next one Bye bye